Broadcasting live from the peak of recorded human civilization. You're listening to Akira the Don. Akira. The Don. He's got clout, 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 clout. People look for the shortcut. The hack. And if you came here looking for that, you won't find it. The shortcut is a lie. The hack doesn't get you there. And if you want to take the easy road, it won't take you to where you want to be. Stronger, smarter, faster, healthier, better. version of you possible will not happen by itself. It will not happen cutting corners, taking shortcuts, or looking for the easy way. There is no easy way. There is only hard work, late nights, early mornings, practice, rehearsal, repetition, study, sweat, blood, toil, frustration, and discipline. Father Virus, character and self-control, my father, integrity and manliness, my mother, her reverence for the divine, her generosity, 
her inability not only to do wrong, but even to conceive in doing it. My great grandfather, to avoid the public school, hire good private teachers, and accept the resulting costs as money well spent. My first teacher, not to support this side or that in chariot racing, this fighter or that in the games, to put up with discomfort and not make demands. Do my own work, mind my own business, and have no time for slanderers. Do my own work, mind my own business, and have no time for slanderers. Diagnosis, not to waste time on nonsense, not taken in by conjurers, not obsessed with quail fighting or other crazes like that. To hear unwelcome truths, to practice philosophy study, to write dialogues as a student, and to choose the Greek lifestyle. The campus and the cloak. I needed to train and discipline my character Not to be sidetracked by interest and rhetoric Not to write treaties on abstract questions Or deliver moralizing little sermons Or compose imaginary descriptions Of the simple life for the man who lives only for others Steer clear of oratory, poetry and bowels latches Not to dress up, just to stroll around the house Write straightforward letters To behave in a consideratory way When people who have angered us want to make up Read attentively, not to be satisfied with just getting the gist of it And not to fall for each smooth talker Apollonius, independence and unvarying reliability To pay attention to nothing, no matter how fleetingly Except the Logos To be the same in all circumstances Pain, loss of a child, chronic illness Clearly, that a man can show both strength and flexibility His patience and teaching To have seen someone who clearly viewed his expertise and ability as a teacher as the humblest of virtues And to have learned how to accept favors From friends without losing your self-respect Or appearing ungrateful That's and lessons That's and lessons Kindness, an example of fatherly authority in the home. What it means to live as nature requires. Gravity without airs. To show intuitive sympathy for friends, tolerance to amateurs and sloppy thinkers. His ability to get along with everyone, to investigate and analyze with understanding and logic the principles we ought to live by, not to display anger or other emotions, to be free of passion and yet full of love, to praise without bombast, to display expertise without pretension. To very critic Alexander, not to be constantly correcting people, not to jump on them when they're make an error, but just answer their question, or add another example, or debate the issue itself, not their phrasing, or make some other contribution to the discussion. Pronto, to recognize the malice, cunning and hypocrisy the power produces, and the peculiar ruthlessness often shown by people from good families. Alexander the Platonist, not be constantly telling people, I'm too busy. Not be always ducking my responsibilities Cause the pressing business Catchless Not to shrug off a friend's resentment Even unjustified resentment But try to put things right To show your teachers Ungrudging respect And your children Unfeigned love Do you, do you know who Akira the Dawn is? Of course, he's amazing.
Akira. The five most important skills are reading, writing, arithmetic, persuasion, which is talking. And then finally, I would add computer programming. If you're good with computers, if you're good at basic mathematics, if you're good at writing, if you're good at speaking, and if you like reading, you're set for life. You're set for life. Foundational things are principles. They're algorithms. They're deep-seated logical understanding where you can defend it or attack it from any angle. That's why microeconomics is important. Because macroeconomics, a lot of memorization, a lot of macro bullshit. As Nassim Taleb says, it is easier to macro bullshit than it is to micro bullshit. Because macroeconomics is voodoo complex science meets politics. You can't find two macroeconomists to agree on anything these days. And different macroeconomists get used by different politicians to peddle their different pet theories. There are even macroeconomists out there now peddling something called modern monetary theory, which basically says, hey, except for this pesky thing called inflation, we can just print all the money that we want. Yes, except for this pesky thing called inflation. That's like saying, instead of limited energy, we can fire rockets off into space all day long. It's just nonsense with the fact that there are people who have macroeconomists in their title and are peddling modern monetary theory just tells you that macroeconomics as a so-called science has been corrupted. The branch of politics. The five most important skills are reading, writing, arithmetic, persuasion, which is talking, and then finally I would add computer programming. If you're good with computers, if you're good at basic mathematics, if you're good at writing, if you're good at speaking, and if you like reading, you're set for life. You're set for life. You're set for life. You're set for life. So if you really want to focus on the foundations, the ultimate foundation are mathematics and logic. If you understand logic and mathematics, then you have the basis for understanding the scientific method. Once you understand the scientific method, then you can understand how to separate truth from falsehood in other fields and other things that you're reading. So be very careful about reading other people's opinions. And even be careful about reading facts, because so-called facts are often just opinions with a veneer around them. What you really are looking for is algorithms. What you're really looking for is understanding. It's better to go through a book really slowly and struggle and stumble and rewind than it is to fly through it quickly and say, well, now I've read 20 books, 30 books, 50 books in the field. It's like Bruce Lee said, I don't fear the man who knows a thousand kicks and a thousand punches. I fear the man who's practiced one punch 10,000 times or one kick 10,000 times. It's the understanding that comes through repetition and through usage and through logic and foundation that really makes you a smart thinker. The five most important skills are reading, writing, arithmetic, persuasion, which is talking. And then finally, I would add computer programming. If you're good with computers, if you're good at basic mathematics, if you're good at writing, if you're good at speaking, and if you like reading, you're set for life.
rush, my dear Lucilius. Set yourself free for your own sake. Gather and save your time, which till lately has been forced from you. Or filched away or merely slipped from your hands. Make yourself believe the truth of my words. The certain moments are torn from us. Some are gently removed, and others glide beyond our reach. And the others glide beyond our reach. The most disgraceful kind of loss is due to carelessness. Furthermore, if you will pay close heed to the problem, you will find the largest portion of our life passes while we are doing ill. A goodly share while we are doing nothing. And the whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose. The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose. The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose. The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose. What man can you show me who places any value on his time? Who reckons the worth of each day? Who understands that he is dying daily? For we're mistaken when we look forward to death. The major portion passed already. The years behind us are in death signs. Therefore, do as you write me that you're doing. Hold every eye in your grasp. Lay hold of today's task. And you will not need to depend so much upon tomorrow's. While we are postponing, life speeds by Nothing, Lucilius, is ours except time We were entrusted by nature With ownership of this single thing So fleeting and slippery Anyone who will can ask us from possession And the whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while They allow the cheapest and most useless things Which can easily be replaced To be charged in the reckoning And after they've acquired them Never regard themselves in debt When they receive some of that precious commodity Time, and yet time is the one love Which even a grateful recipient cannot repay You may desire to know how I who preach to you So greedy and practicing I confess frankly my expense account balances As you would expect from one who is free-handed But careful, I cannot boast that I waste nothing But I can at least tell you what I am wasting And the cause and manner of the loss I can give you the reasons why I'm a poor man and the whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The situation, however, is the same as that of many who are reduced to slender means Through no fault of their own Everyone forgives them but no one comes to their rescue What is the state of things then? It's this I do not regard a man as poor If the little which remains is enough for him I advise you, however, to keep what's really yours And you cannot begin too early For as our ancestors believed, it's too late to spare When you reach the dregs of the cask Of that which remains at the bottom The amount is slight and the quality is vile Farewell and the whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose Perfect. The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose The whole while we are doing that which is not to the purpose Just press play. Rome wasn't built in the day. We all know that. Everyone hears that. But Rome also didn't fall apart overnight either. It took hundreds of years for Rome to reach its peak, but it also took time. Hundreds of years for Rome to decay and fall apart and that is represented 
representative of life. You don't achieve worthwhile goals quickly or easily. They take time. They take struggle. They take relentless pursuit day in and day out. That's what it takes. That's why I say state that is our natural state 
we're being summoned to move. Negativity, that internal feeling pulling at you, that is our natural state. That is our natural state. We're being summoned to move. If you're that much more negative, go that much harder. That means your call is greater. Your call is greater. Why? How does this make sense? Wisdom is problems overcome. Negativity inside of us is the greatest problem that ever existed. It's ruined more lives than anything. It's basically the culprit of what causes you to partake in vices. If you woke up feeling perfect, would you run to that drink? If you woke up and everything was right, would you smoke that shit? Would you twist that joint? No, you're doing that because something is pulling at you just enough. Oh, I got this anxiety. Oh, I can't sleep. Oh, I just gotta forget about this shit. It's fucking tearing me up inside. I mean, I never met anyone that didn't have negativity that pushed them towards something that they didn't want to do. Negativity! That internal feeling pulling at you. That is our natural state. That is our natural state. We're being summoned to move. Negativity! That internal feeling pulling at you. That is our natural state. That is our natural state. We're being summoned to move. This is where we change it all. We flip that negative. We realize that anger, that frustration, that's just energy in motion. We use that energy to get into motion to building the life of our dreams. I like that. I like that. This contrast created from feeling like such shit, such garbage, stepping into something we don't want to do for the greater good to feel better on the other side is what builds us the most. This is what does it. Literally, inaction breeds more fear, more doubt. Action, self-investment, that breeds self-love, that that breeds self-respect. Action, self-investment, Self-investment. That, that, that breeds self-love. That, that breeds self-respect. Action. Self-investment. That, 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 that breeds self-love. That, that breeds self-respect. Action. Self-investment. That, 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 that breeds self-love. That, that breeds self-respect. Various preachers tell me that there is no sermon which is looked forward to with less enthusiasm than a sermon about sin. <laughs> The skyline of America was set in place one brick at a time. Now that represents a lot of calluses. America the beautiful is not an accomplished fact guaranteed to remain intact. God shed his grace on thee to be sure, but this was wasteland when God had it to himself. He handed man a hoe and said, you want another Eden? All right, earn it. And all that's necessary for the weeds to take over again is for you and me to lay down that hole. Work. 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 Hard work. There is no gospel less popular than the gospel of hard work. 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 Hard work. There is no gospel less popular. Get to work. Get to work. We tell our young people how our country was carved out of the wilderness. No, it wasn't. Our nation was hammered and hoed and chopped and dug and sawed and clawed out of the wilderness by barehanded men who asked nothing for nothing. America did not start out with an agricultural production that the awe and envy of the world. It was seeded first by sod-busting farmers who fought Indians and ranchers and cold and heat and drought and bugs and flood and one another. The fruited plain sprang forth from barren acres only after they had been watered with a lot of sweat. Work. 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 Hard work. There is no gospel less popular than the gospel of hard work. 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 Hard work. There is no gospel less popular. Get to work. Get to work. 
I guess what I'm saying is that the more history I study, ours and others, the more certain I am that there is one fertilizer essential to the survival of civilization. And that fertilizer is sweat. And I don't mean perspiration. I mean the kind of steamy, streamy, salty sweat that's wrung from a man by hard physical work. Somehow, the sweat gets into the soil of a farm or a factory or a city or a state or a nation. And everything thereabouts grows tall and strong and tough enough to stand against any storm. But the day the sweat dries up, the soil dries up. And whole civilizations are buried in dust. Physical laws simply cannot be ignored. 
Side effect of meaning.